It looks like Kelly Kumalo is in for a very big trouble as almost everybody is pointing toward her for being the main suspect in the shooting of her late boyfriend Senzo Meiwa. Even after all the evidences and the defense from her lawyers and those who supported her, these people won't stop until they have proven that Kelly Kumalo actually had a hand and she was the same person who pulled the trigger. The new legal counselor for one of the charged in the Senzo Meiwa murder preliminary beliefs should get rid of a piece of proof that addresses Grant winning performer and unscripted television show star Kelly Kumalo shooting her child's daddy unintentionally. This bad advocate Tefo Malesela, who addressed blame one to three in the homicide preliminary of Senzo, made a hypothesis that Kelly is the person who erroneously shot Senzo passed on. Malesela guaranteed that Kelly shot Senzo utilizing a pistol having a place with Longwe Twala the child of Chico Tuala who was dating her sister Zandi Kumalo Gumede at that point. Five men are blamed for shooting and killing Senzo in October 26, 2014. Every one of the suspects have denied contribution in Senzo's homicide. They guarantee that the genuine executioner is out there wandering the roads while they are being utilized as substitutes to safeguard the genuine executioner. Be that as it may, the state accepts it was a burglary turned out badly. Malesela and Titi Sobani, a previous guard legal counselor in the homicide preliminary of Senzo, said they will bring witnesses who might affirm that Kelly is the one who erroneously shot Senzo. However, on Tuesday, the new attorney for Ntobisen Kube advocate Charles Sini let the court know that they believe this piece of proof should be cancelled. Mr. Kobe has educated me that was not piece of his guidance to then guard. The continuous preliminary into the homicide of Senzo has provoked the state to demand cross-examination of Kelly as the supposed executioner. The state is looking for proof to help their case in the preliminary. On Tuesday, in the wake of illuminating the court regarding his goal to get back to observers to the stand, Advocate Nisi let the court know that he would likewise like a piece of proof to be erased. He alluded to a declaration by his client's past attorneys. Previous legitimate direction let the court know that somebody would affirm that Kelly pulled the trigger during the fight with Longway bringing out Senzo's passing. During the shooting, there were seven observers inside the house portrayed the shooting as a burglary turned out badly.